Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Kroger brand cheese stuffed crust pizza. This is the pepperoni. It was $8.99 at Kroger. It does have a pull tab. Hey, it went all the way across. That's good, but <laughs> I'm still having to dig a little bit, but it did go all the way across. Ooh, there's lots of pepperoni in there. Okay, it says preheat the oven to 400 degrees, remove pizza from all packaging. For best results, place frozen pizza directly onto the center rack. Bake for 17 to 20 minutes or until the cheese in the center is melted. So, um, this does not come with a piece of cardboard underneath it. Um, look, you have big pepperonis and then you have just regular sized pepperonis. And I'm just going to move them around a little, just a little bit. Uh, but we're going to put this in the oven for the full time. So we like ours to be extra toasty. So we're going to go for the whole 20 minutes and then we'll be back. This is after the full time and you can see it's just baked. It's not it's like it's, crisp. yeah, it's not like it's extra crispy or anything like that. This isn't even as dark as what we're used no, to. And we cool. went, uh, we went the full time. Um, it actually, it surprises me that it's not a little darker. bit darker. Yeah. yeah, because it seems like, um... It's even a little doughy, so we'll see. Yeah, it's supposed to have cheese in it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's some cheese in oh, it. Oh, yeah, there's some cheese. So this says it's a pepperoni, two sizes of pepperoni, low moisture mozzarella, smoked gouda, romano, and parmesan cheeses and spices. Made with real cheese, two and a half feet of cheese stuffed in the crust. Hmm. It says it's what's on the inside that counts. And this pizza delivers. We start by filling our soft doughy crust with a melty mozzarella, Romano, and Asiago cheese blend for some ooey gooey goodness. Then we top it off with zesty sauce, more savory cheese, two sizes of pepperoni and spices. Now that's good stuff. It is 320 calories for a fifth. So the whole pizza is 1600 calories. So it's 800 calories per, for half. And honestly with, so on, that's right on par with normal calories. So I know they're trying to make it sound like all oh, this cheese and all this pepperoni and all that, but it's, it's no more calories than any mm. other pizza. So I tell you what, they filled it with pepperoni. Yes, pizza, they though. did. I mean, it looks good. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying for all that bragging <laughs> that they do on the box, you would think, oh, this is going to be a 2,000 calorie pizza or something. Mm. It's not. It's on par with all the other pizzas. So it's actually lower than some pizzas. Yes. Yes, <laughs> it is. Well, the, we said that crust wasn't really like dark on the outside. It's very crispy on the bottom. I get a nice crispy. You didn't get crispy when you bit. Like Mine's my not dark. No, Mine's, no, no, it's not Mine's dark. When I bit, in, when I bit into it, though, it crunched. Oh. It's, it is pale looking on the bottom, but it mm. crunched when I bit into it. Mine didn't huh. crunch. It's doughy. Yeah, that one. No, the, maybe it was just that one center part was crunchy. Mm -hmm. The, the next bite was very soft. Was yeah, very it's very out. soft. And that's not the part where they added the extra cheese. Mm, that's the regular part. So now I'm going to have the crust where they put the cheese. Mm. It's also really soft. It's very soft, yeah. Hmm. I think um, I'd add probably another one. Two or three minutes of that. Mm -hmm. It needs more time. For us. Yeah, it needs more time. Uh, we have um, two more of these to try. And um, I'm saving what I'm looking forward to the most for last, which is like, I think, like a barbecue chicken. So the next one we'll try will be like a three meat, which I'm looking forward to it too. This is the plainest of the three. Mm -hmm. But I'm disappointed that it it's not just soft on the edge where that cheese is. No, like, it's not soft everywhere. Like the whole thing is soft. It's mm. just, it's a softer pizza. And but I... That's funny, the first bite I took was crunchy. Then the rest of it's been very, very soft. Mm-hmm. Yep, you mm. pulled all your pepper. Mm. That's the only bad thing about having the really big pepperoni like that mm -hmm. is. It's really mm -hmm. hard to bite into them. Mm -hmm. So you end up pulling them off. Mm-hmm. 
I'd almost rather have the small ones. It is easy, easier to eat. Mm -hmm. Um. Is, I don't taste, is there a difference between the pepperoni? No, it's its size. I didn't say a zesty and a regular or anything, it's just its size. Mm -hmm. The one's bigger than the other, just the look, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Well, what, who cares what it, you know. I don't know. I'd rather have the small pepperoni. Um, and it mentioned too, it said zesty sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting any zesty sauce. No. I'm getting, there's actually very, very little sauce. If you take, um, if you could remove this. Oh, yeah, you can see. Uh, you can see there's not a lot of sauce on there. Mm -hmm. so, I'm, I'm glad though, because I, I, I like the sauce, but it's not like a, it's not very exciting. It's just okay. Um, mm -hmm. At least it's not really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. But there's not a lot of spice in it either. And the pepperonis don't have a lot of spice either. There's, it's kind of plain. I think it's kind of plain too. I would rather have a, a Screaming Sicilian pepperoni, Motor City pepperoni, Home Run In pepperoni than buy <laughs> this again. It's just, well, it's the overall, it, it's just not mm -hmm. um, anything like jazzy, like like mm. there's not a lot of sauce on it and, it, it and the sauce it does have on it doesn't stand out. The pepperoni just all, it, it doesn't taste bad. It just all just, it's just it's plain, plain pepperoni yeah. without any uh, seasonings really. And it um, is $9. It's a $9 pizza. You can get, you can get a really nice You can get a really that. good, <laughs> yeah, uh, those croissant crust mm -hmm. uh, DiGiorno's, is that what those are? Yeah. DiGiorno's, those were awesome. Yeah. Um, I just would not the get this. DiGiorno has a stuffed crust. I don't know if it's a $9, but they have one. Yeah, I, I just personally would not get this one in particular. No. Now, the next two we try might be outstanding because they're going to have more going on. I yeah, think. yeah, I think it's just yeah. the, the, uh, I'm a little disappointed that it is as soft as it is. So we may, yeah, so we may go a little longer on the other ones. Yeah, and we try uh, to always pay attention know, to the directions, but, but, but if it's going to be that soft and that doughy even on the bottom, yeah. then I would rather go a little bit longer. So, so it's soft on the dough, but it's also not kind of lackluster in the seasonings and spices too. I would have to put, if I wanted to sit here and finish this, I would take nature seasoning and sprinkle it on there to add some salt and garlic and some onion and stuff like that. Would we don't some. say that very often. No, but, but I, and you I would should, add something to it. You should not have to do that. If it's a good pizza, you shouldn't have to add no, anything no. to it. There's a difference between I like to add things yeah, and, like you, it up. and yeah. I have to add things. Yeah, and this is one you want to add. That you want have to add things, yeah, but it shouldn't be that way. That right. should be a you want to do it, but right. you don't have to yeah, do like it. Yeah, like you so. want to add green peppers or, or right. onions or something like that would be something you want to do. This one needs it. Right, <laughs> exactly. So this first one's a pass, uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.